Hey there, it's Diane Banks, voice actress and radio personality in Chicago. Please subscribe. Don't forget my other vids. Disney characters' most amazing hair moments is my most recent. And Clay Carmichael, longtime subscriber watch, thanks for that, and says, Oh, if you like Dancing with the Stars, can you make a video on your predictions of season 24? Uh, great idea. You know, I usually do at least one Dancing with the Stars video during the season, so I will do that. And right now, I think Simone from uh, the Olympics will win, along with um, her partner, Sasha. I don't know, but, you know, it's pretty hard to beat. But I think Nancy Kerrigan and Artem are also going to do really well. So I'd love to know, you guys, what are your thoughts? If you watch Dancing with the Stars in the comments, let me know what your picks would be. And also a quick shout-out uh, over at Instagram to Creature Kindness, who watched my video about the world's largest Disney store, Shanghai, China, uh, in Shanghai, China, Nine Cool Things You Need to Know. And Creature Kindness says, so cool. So thanks. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at banks.diane. Okay, pretty easy to find. So let's get to today's topic. There's so much to talk about. This is going to be a long one, but I hope you'll stay till the end uh, because it's Beauty and the Beast weekend. Woohoo! And there's a lot of different things. D23 gave us this, which is the then and now, uh, the enchanted cast, the magical objects. Now, I'm not trying to be snide here, but are the objects supposed to be creepy in the new movie? Because they look kind of creepy. Don't you think? They, they have kind of a Tim Burton creepy. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. But anyway, so here's our uh, comparisons between then and now with Cogsworth. Again, looking kind of creepy. <laughs> I love Cogsworth, though, in the, in the original movie. And then this couple, too. Maybe not so much her, but he's looking a little creepy. Lumiere. <laughs> uh mrs potts adorable and kind of creepy i don't know maybe uh, maybe it has something to do with the plot in the in the new one uh the wardrobe of course uh does she have a face over here i don't know i mean it's cool work you know obviously three-dimensional for the movie but i don't know so we're going to move on here to some more things D23 has for us. Uh, five things you need to know before you see the, the movie. I'm only going to give you a couple of these because th I'm just going to pick the good ones. And then I'll give you all the links if you want to look at this later. But I thought this was kind of cool that, um, you know, a lot of times you wonder what's the backstory of these characters. Like the Beast, Gaston, and Belle. And so they did that for the movie. They have backstories and now they decided to make Gaston a war hero. So if you'll notice in the movie, if you go see it, you're going to look for him in the murals. He's in a lot of these histor uh, historic murals in the background because that's his background in the war. So I thought that was kind of neat that they added that. So that's something. And then these were just talking about how grateful they are to be in it, blah, blah, blah. But I thought this was a hoot to mention. Um, his, Josh Gad's horse, look for him in the movie. His name is Buddy, and he said the horse was horrible. <laughs> he probably just didn't feel like working or something that day. But he said, my horse was a cold-blooded killer. He proceeded to moonwalk backwards, and he ran through multiple extras. He's nobody's buddy. Aww. Poor buddy. He's cute, though, isn't he? I guess he just didn't feel like working. Um, and then here at uh, the Walt Disney Resort, what is this, the Disney blog? Yeah, I found so much stuff that I'm um, trying to figure out where they are. But this is Disney blog, and they gave us da -da, uh, five enchanting Beauty and the Beast experiences at Walt Disney World to help celebrate the movie. First being the stage show. Have you seen that? The... Um, What's the name of the show there? The Beauty and the Beast live on stage at Hollywood Studios. I haven't seen that. That looks really cute, though. Let me know in the comments if you saw it and liked it. Would love to eat here. How about Be Our Guest Restaurant? I heard it's hard to get in. Is that true? I don't know, but look at that chandelier. Isn't that gorgeous from the, the original? Uh, oh, and the rose is in one of the rooms, too. Your little princess can get the royal belt treatment at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So there's another thing to celebrate. Also, how about the Enchanted Tales with Belle? I don't think I've ever seen that. Special moments inside the library and more. That's pretty cute. And then the last one here is Gaston's Tavern because there's never enough eating to be done when you're at Disney. <laughs> so that's cute. And like I said, I'll give you all these links if you want to spend more time. But I thought this was kind of cool from D23, their annual shareholders meeting. Look at the stuff that they had in honor of Beauty and the Beast. What I love about this is it's like Belle and 
uh, Beast outfits on these strawberries. Isn't that cute? See, there's his waistcoat and her pretty colored dress. I love that. Uh, be, our, be our guest. Just, just some of the things that they were snacking on. Um, and I guess, I haven't seen the movie, but I guess some of these are themes within the film. Wasn't there, somebody has an artist background or something in there? Um, so some of these, I think, are part of, like, in the scenes where they're singing Be Our Guest and everything. And I love this. This was greeting them outside when they first came in, Cogsworth. Looks like it's metal or something. It would have to be to stand up to the weather. Isn't that neat? And then, whoops, I got another one here. Um... Lumiere, this one he was inside while they were dining. I love that. And I got, uh, oh, I guess that was the last one. Okay, so now we'll go back. And then these are just some quickies. These were from um, the Disney Park blog. They talked about, you know, their photo pass that they do. So these are some photos from that if you want to go through these. I just thought that was beautiful. Here's some more Gaston, and I'll put the link so you can spend more time. Da -da -da. What else have I got for you? Oh, this is cute. I'll give you the link if you want this doodle that they did of Belle in honor of the movie. And it makes a really cute screensaver, you know, like your um, uh, screen wallpaper. And then, of course, the new Belle. If you're lucky enough to go to Disney World, you can see her beautiful new topiary. They're getting really good at doing the faces now, I think. So that was really nice. And they have some more here. Mickey! So I'll put the link if you want to spend some time with that. Um, we'll go back to that. Here's a quickie from Cal. I think this is California, the Walt Disney Studios. They're having an art show that's going on now through April to show you some tributes that various artists did of Belle and Beast and everybody in the cast. These are gorgeous, aren't they? <gasps> to see these in person, wouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know if they're for sale, too, but pretty stunning. Wow. Ah, oh, the rose. Da da! I told you there was a lot today. And then, okay, so before we wrap up, let's look at this real quick. I thought this was kind of neat, too. Over at HSN, the shopping channel, they had a whole Beauty and the Beast collection. They did, like, a whole day of uh, merch, which was really cool. A lot of beautiful stuff from jewelry to bedding, tabletop shoes. Look at this. So I'll put the link if you want to go peruse through that. But one of the neatest things I thought about it was that they have... A, a 360 behind the scenes for us so we can look at the set the set was gorgeous look at how they did this thing with the roses everywhere there's Belle and the Beast they had their original costumes on set they had the chandeliers I think we can we can sneak in a little bit more here um, I don't know how this is going to come out in the video if it's going to look good or not but I just wanted to give you a quick peek whoa really behind the scenes here we got a garbage can <laughs> but back to the set look the cakes and the pastries remember from be our guest um, there's the chandelier they really had a beautiful set if you saw the show at all and if not you can kind of go back and peruse through this website because I thought it was pretty neat that they had all this Beauty and the Beast stuff for sale too and there's still things online Ooh, that's pretty if you want to buy uh, we did that. Wrapping up here. How's the movie doing? Well, right now, looks like the critics, 71%. Not that great. Audiences are liking it, 83%. Maybe not as good as the animation, uh, animated films of late, but not horrible. So there we go. Do you have a favorite of some of the things we talked about today? Anything you want to share? We'd love to know if you go see it, if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments. As always, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's Diane Banks, and we'll talk again soon.